morning. Well, we've got a bunch of hauling to do. Um, I haven't called anybody back for the season yet, so on my own, I have to drop trucks off here and there for various reasons. So just gonna have to do it with the trailer. So um, started the skid steer, letting that warm up. Got to clean the trailer off. First thing we got to do is take the service truck an hour north to Derby. <clears throat> um, the reason we put a plow set up on the new 3500 was because the service truck was throwing an ABS sensor code for the left rear and wouldn't let it go into four-wheel drive so um, ended up just going and buying the Fisher stuff putting it on the one ton and that's pretty much why the service truck didn't plow the last storm just wouldn't go into four-wheel drive so now the storm's over and we can try to get back to normal we're gonna go ahead and take that truck up to the dealer drop it off and sure they'll have it for a couple of weeks while they wait for the part to come in but it's the truck's first winter <clears throat> and <laughs> fully undercoated and yet that left ABS left rear ABS sensor connector was full of corrosion so bravo to another problem with these rams um, clean that out put it back together the problem is still intermittent, so I guess we're just going to have to take it up and have them put the sensor in it. But with all these problems that Ram's having with the grid heater recall that they don't have parts for and the transmissions on a few of the trucks, luckily we haven't had any of those problems. Um, but I'd say the three diesels have two, three, four recalls each. Uh, most the important ones um, they don't have parts for so I'm a little bummed about that it pretty much puts the brakes on ordering any more rams and see how they can fix the issue so I'm not married to ram trucks I, I'll buy whatever brand uh, you know GM and Ford make okay vehicles and I think they're all good and they all suck so you know I don't really need any vehicles right now but I usually put some in the pipeline way ahead of time because I know it could take six months or more to get them but uh, I'm not gonna do that right now but so let's get the uh, service truck started clean that trailer off get it loaded and get ready to go About uh, 6.45, headed down to Charlotte today to do a mulching job. It's a day rate job, so just going to see how much we can get done and see if the guy wants us to stick around or not. Just got her bolted down, and we're going to head out. Service truck is out of service. Took it to the dealer yesterday. They're probably going to have it for a couple of weeks if there's parts. So, got the old 350. So, well, let's we get just got here. And I'll get a little bit of footage today, but not a lot. I thought that I brought my full suction cup mount, but it's missing a piece. 
because I had it mounted on my side window plowing. It's in the truck somewhere. No idea. So, anyway, we'll get some drone footage. And uh, you'll get the idea. Alright, so today we're going to be here cleaning up some of this underbrush. There's all these trees that have tops blown down and brush underneath them and everything all around that area to the right we're looking at. But uh, So we're going to fly out pretty much to the property line. So everything from where we started to right about here in this area we're going to clean up. And this is a day rate job so we're just going to spend eight hours here and see how much we get done. Um, that area beyond the clearing is kind of a last priority so if we have enough time we'll go into that area and clean up some of that brush but we'll make our way towards the pond and as we turn to the right you'll see a willow tree that they are going to want us to come back and do yellow tree there's the weeping willow we're gonna clean around that clean around those birches that clump there in the middle we're gonna delete that and then everything in this clump here with the tall trees we're gonna try to clean up as much down stuff as we can um, all mulch right in until it's just too big to sit there and chew on and uh, then at a later date, we're going to come back and I think we're going to take all those trees down and grind those stumps flush. Alright, we are just getting back from lunch. We've gotten a lot done. I, um, I think we're going to end up getting more done in one day than I originally thought. So, we've got about three more hours left on the day. I have found metal everywhere I've turned. Nothing major, but enough to go very carefully everywhere I am so I don't screw something up seriously. So, I'm gonna work down around these maples and around this elm down by this pond and then turn around and Go hit a couple other places and then uh, see if he wants us to come back again tomorrow or what he wants to do. So I'm gonna <clears throat> fire this head up and get rocking.
Well, putting some fuel in her. What is this thing problem? First time using this fuel tank. Made it to 230 and I can't get this pump to work so we're gonna give the customer a discount and call it a day not happy <laughs> it will not pull a prime took the automatic nozzle off won't pull a prime so when I get it back to the shop I gotta take the pump off the filler neck and see what's going on so we got a lot done but Well, for the first time in a couple of months, I can say that I am pumped about the upcoming season. We have got a ton of work, a lot of it left over from last year. In the past week, I'd say three places that I quoted last year um, decided they wanted to move forward this year. We've got mulching jobs coming in and I haven't even started really advertising yet, so pretty excited. Um, I interviewed several people this week for the job of driver. Um, this year I'm gonna have a dedicated driver who's going to specialize in moving machines for me um, <clears throat> and running the dump truck when the tandem arrives, which has been pushed back three weeks now. 
which means we won't get it until June, which means I'll be using subs again for the first six, seven weeks of work, but it is what it is. Um, yesterday I hired two guys. I hired a full-time truck driver, a nice young guy, no uh, experience with running heavy machinery, but he does have his class A. He has done a lot of trucking and is interested in learning uh, how to run machines. So I like to take chances on people like that. Um, I'm going to teach them how to operate the machines good enough to load and unload and transport properly. And then as time goes on, uh, we might put them in a machine. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we've got Eli, who's going to be my full-time mulching operator this summer. Um, basically drop him off with the two mulcher machines on, and let him go. And uh, we picked up his half-ton pickup the other day. I found a 2020 Ram 1500 for him. Regular cab, long box, classic style. Um, you can't get regular cab, long box, half tons anymore. Uh, it just came back from lettering, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I ordered a rack for it. Fuel tank, pump, toolbox. So that's going to be put together sometime next week, I imagine. Um, I hired another guy, retired guy, part-time. He wants to work Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, um, any time on those days that I need him. He retired from a city public works, so he knows how to drive truck, haul machines, <clears throat> and operate them. So he's going to be a valuable asset this summer to fill in for me, hopefully, on jobs. So I don't have to work seven days a week. I can look at some jobs during the week. And... Uh, so bringing those two on board so that we have three Class A drivers now is very, very handy and allows me to relax a little bit because doing all the moving myself uh, takes a lot of time. And this year we're going to be moving two, three times a day. So um, I had lined up purchasing a nice, fancy gooseneck trailer. <clears throat> And that deal fell through, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep looking for a gooseneck, and when a good one comes up, I will buy that. So um, the new bigger excavator is coming. Just learned yesterday it's built. All the parts needed to make it how I need it uh, have arrived at the dealer. I'm guessing I will see it within a month. Um, the new 259 arrived at CAT. Um, <clears throat> I went with a standard flow this time because I don't need a high flow. And they're putting the side LED work lights on it. And I should be able to pick that up end of next week, I think. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to order it. I ordered it with a, with a big bucket, an 80 inch, I believe, um, with side cutters. And I'm thinking about getting a four-in-one bucket as well. Um, I see more and more people using them, and I think it would be pretty handy. So I think I might buy one and just put it with everything else. And if it's there and we need it, perfect. So um, <clears throat> things are really looking up. I'm going to look at a couple of jobs here in the next couple of days. It is pouring rain right now, so it should help get rid of this snow. And uh, But the weather is not looking like it's going to get into the 50s yet. It's high 30s, low 40s, good for sugar makers, but uh, not ideal for drying things out so we can get going. But I guess another month and things will look a lot better. So I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> but today I'm just dubbing around in the shop. Editing a video, I just got the rear view mirror kit for the 97, so I'm going to throw that in today. Um, I cleaned the tracks out yesterday while it was nice. Um, figured out my fuel pump problem that I ran into, 
the filler pipe disconnected from the base of the pump and fell down in the tank. That's why it would not pull a prime. I fished it out, put new uh, <clears throat> Teflon tape on it, screwed it in. All I can think of is when I was putting it together, I just started the threads. It never went back to tightening it up or something stupid, but um, totally my fault and resulted in me losing 500 bucks on that last mulching job. So real good, real nice. Um, yeah, so that's an update for now. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care.